Hi guys and welcome to my guide on how to turn your SSD into a cache using Primo Cache um, by Romex Software. First thing you want to do is go to www.romexsoftware.com and click on the downloads followed by Primo Cache Beta to come up on the following page. Click on local site 1, 2 or 3 to download the program. Um, once downloaded and installed, the next thing you'll need to do is format your SSD. So go over to your SSD and click on the format button click on start, this will remove anything from your SSD so make sure that you've got nothing on there that you want to keep okay so once complete open up the Primo Cache software just up here you've got the manage level 2 storages click on that icon click on create level 2 storage find your SSD and then click on the format button down the bottom Okay, so that is now created as level two storage and will be hidden from uh, your from the view and I basically. So you won't be able to mess with it whilst it's being used as a cache. Once that's complete, go up the top left to create a new cache task. Click on your hard drive or your C drive, and then click on next. Then what you want to do is select the read, which is the SSD cache only mode, and click on next. As you can see, it's using our newly created level 2 storage uh, at maximum capacity. Click on the start, and that's now started caching. As you can see here, the total read will start moving up, the total write will start moving up as you open up applications and programs. Um, some advice with this is that the maximum size SSD you can put in is 64 gig, so don't put 120 gig in and hope that it's going to work any better because it won't. Um, that will basically run if you close this application now that will run if you restart <coughs> your PC that will continue to run so there's no need to, to open it each time you start your PC uh, if you ever do want to check if it's still working just reopen as you can see the total read and the and the write will be will be, it'll basically be going up all the time and your free cache will always be going down uh, so that's how you create a SSD cache using Primo cache um, Prima Cache is currently in beta, which means it's free. At the end of the 90 days trial, um, you can get a download link to a file which will extend it another 90 days uh, until it goes on sale. I believe when it does go on sale, it will be about $30. Um, and that's it. Please leave any comments if you have any issues getting Prima Cache to work, and I'll try and get back to you.